is life is just a big metaphor. It's a big metaphor, it's a big simile, it's a like or as, and, and I'm going to explain it to you right now, because this universe, everything you're experiencing in this moment is explaining everything that's happened over the entire course of all of your awareness in this lifetime and experience. Your entire culmination of everything you know and you've seen and you believe is currently being presented to you right now in this moment, because I am just a reflection of you. And you are a reflection of my inner self, you know. So if you see beauty within me, that's because the beauty is within you. And if you see things within me that you don't like, that's because that's within you as well. So choose to see the beauty in everyone. Because when you do, you start becoming more beautiful yourself. Internally and externally, wholeheartedly and expressively. Oh, look, a little bee, a little butterfly, but a little ant creature that's so beautiful. I want to know why? Because it's, it just has as much divine creational source as my unique vibration does as well. The clouds in the sky, they shift every day, you know? Everything is constantly moving. You know, Alan Watts, he says, everything's rippling. It's a wrinkly world or <laughs> wiggly world. And so it is. Everything is constantly in motion. Everything is always flowing. There's three forms of energy and, uh, you know, the there's the passive active and equilibrium and we seek to be in all three constantly and when we can be in equilibrium and active and passive we are working on all three of our facets of motion and movement and energy so you know with the metaphor of life what is the purpose what is the entirety of our conception lead to well, I'd have to say it's about just leading a full, expressive, compassionate, grateful life that you feel you have actually done something with your soul, that you've actually expanded into realization that you are a divine being, a natural instinct of nature. You are just as much this planet as this planet is you. And there's no separation. So treat the planet, this being, you, yourself, with love and compassion, don't smother it with, you know, bacteria of, you know, man-made creation and as bacteria being the giant smokestacks we create and the giant towns of, you know, mucus and uh, messy kind of whatevers, you know? Like, just a lot of recycling would help. Just a lot of understanding what you're putting into the environment and how you're affecting it would help because it's helping yourself. Help yourself by helping the world and everybody will appreciate you for it. Or at least the people that have an understanding and awareness of who they are will appreciate you. And really you should only be seeking internal gratification anyways, not external. It shouldn't be seeking something outside of yourself to fulfill yourself, but within who you are inside, in this moment. Ooh. You're beautiful here. That's where you are beautiful for. Well, I pray that this may have said something to you that makes you shine a little bit brighter today. And I send all of my blessings of radiance and love and compassion your way and every other day. Uh, may you come in peace and shine and love and gratification for yourself and others and all beings in this world. Wish you all the best. Namaste.